Last year, Jose Flores from Mexico City lost his wife of 15 years to COVID-19. The doctor told me this virus attacks the body wherever it is weak, the brain, the diabetes, wherever. My wife died of a heart attack when the doctor told me I felt I was going to faint. I couldn't speak. It was like a torrent of cold water flowing through me. But this widower's loss goes much deeper. He also has two young daughters who lost their mother and whose lives have been turned upside down since her passing. They have changed a lot. They don't want to go to school. They don't want to do anything. They spend a lot of time sleeping. It has hit them harder than me. They loved their mother so much. She was their idol. Jose and his girls are by no means the only young family in Mexico to suffer the death of a vital member. A report from Mexico's Senate has revealed that nearly a quarter of a million children in Mexico have lost a parent or caregiver to COVID-19. A closer look at the numbers shows that for every 100 deaths from coronavirus, 90 children lost a caregiver more than anywhere else in the world. Experts say this will have social impacts far beyond the end of the pandemic. One of the authors of the report, Carla Gomez of the Senate's Belisario Dominguez Institute, says this problem needs to be addressed by both the government and society at large if these Mexican families are to recover. It's going to require collaboration from family units, wider society, charitable organizations who work where the state isn't so present, and legislative decisions by the government. And that doesn't just mean making laws, but backing them up with the public funds in order to implement them. As Mexico faces the long-term effects of a difficult pandemic, how effectively the country attends to its youngest collateral COVID victims will echo far into the future. Alastair Bavastock, CGTN, Mexico City.